everybody, Torgal here, and welcome back to another episode of Empyrean. It is early in the morning, I was waiting for the sun to rise, because I want to make the most out of the daytime, of course. And I've got, I just came back from mining as well a little bit um, during the night. But I do want to, you know, make the most out of our daytime and stuff. Now, I have bad news and I have good news. And the bad news are offset with the good news, so it's no, no problem. Guys, after the last episode finished, um... I think the next morning there was an update to Empyrean and we had a little bit of trouble updating it, but then we finally got it done. And I even made a backup of the world and so on. But then when we loaded into the server here, my platform here was the way it was before with all everything the way it was before the episode. And the building over here was gone. Both of the turret towers were there, so I lost a day and a half of work. It wasn't too bad because I had most of the materials still. I, I think I didn't lose any materials. But I needed to build this entire house again. This entire building here. Um, so I did that and I I think I got it almost identical. It's uh, it's a little bit different but overall the same building. Okay, And I'm going to show you guys inside in the middle. And I also... Um, and the good news... I'm sorry... The offsets is I got everything rebuilt, so you guys are not missing out on anything, or I don't need to waste any time on the episodes. And I actually like the pillars better the way they are now, this layered concrete down here. And inside changed just slightly, i show you. And then I made this little dock over here, because I added another oxygen generator and another... What is the thing called? Water generator? Yeah. Um, let's see how much we got here. Yeah, it's cranking nicely. Good. And I just wanted to have something around here. And luckily, I got them to align nicely. Usually, they're like all over the place. But I got lucky here and I built this little dock here. Just, you know, something. It looks a little nicer. And you guys see this over here. We're going to start in a second. And I also have another building planned over here already. And when the power building is done right now, or in a couple minutes for you guys, then I can tear this down. And then our living quarters are going to come over here. So we're going to have building one here. Um, building two is going to be the power, building three is going to be the greenhouse, and building four is going to be the crew quarters. After we built the power room, and down here, it's, I think, pretty identical. I changed this over here a little bit. I put, like, a little bit of bookshelf, so room divider in here, and this is my kitchenette. I did add a tier two fridge here because I went to the village because I also needed to get my levels back, right? So I can unlock everything that we had. And I got a ton of food from them and I harvested the stuff over there a couple times. So yeah, I, I'm happy still about this building here. Um, I haven't read you guys' comments yet um, because I'm actually encoding this video now. The, the last one where we built this building. But anyway, what I want to do today is uh, build a little power building over here. Which we're not going to have to access very often. Um, if at all, okay, so that's why I put it out here But also because I want to run some pipes into the water that are supposed to you know mimic kind of like a heat exchange and kind a of system and down here I put a the thing called uh, just the Yeah, the walkway the, um, the things that we have right there on the on the wall when you right click it you can also make these walkways and I figured it's kind of supposed to mimic, you know, if the water rises or whatever, this might be able to to hinge kind of, okay? And it's going to be a very small, very simple building, and we're going to jump right in now. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff on the bar. I don't need the concrete. But I want to have two generators back here. There's going to be one here and one there. And let's go into F5 so I have an easier time placing these. And they are both going to go facing this way okay like that and then i need to move myself or i cannot place the rest let's just place them now these are going to be tipped on their oops i pressed the wrong button i apologize that's my my screenshot i pressed print screen instead of insert and delete these i want to be on the side like this five so i can place these like that okay and i want to have four large ones because over there this is going to be our greenhouse which is going to draw the most power so i want to make sure that if i log on for an entire day i don't run out of power okay so now what do i want to do here first of all i want to mimic that the fuel is actually getting pumped into these and then on this side i, I think we'll start with this side first i want to have kind of like a heat exchange system okay, that goes back into the lake 
yeah i think that would be cool so we're gonna have um two pipes right there and then right here we're gonna have two full blocks like that because there's gonna be you know a wall or glass or something here and the pipes just sticking through it looks kind of awkward okay uh and then here we're gonna have a 90 degree turn like that one two and now i need to make sure that the rest i'll place at once or this is probably going to collapse um this top structure here so go ahead so this is also going to have some kind of a um structural function here we'll just go down you see it's sticking into the ground here the last piece all right it did not collapse i'm glad it didn't and it's right in your face the sun sorry about that and let's put this one down as well yeah i like it i think that's pretty nifty so you know that's like we're pumping the fuel in from the front and then in the back we have the heat exchanger it's the cooling or whatever all right and then over here we're gonna have a 90 degree that then a straight piece and then we're gonna need one of these come on like that and now i'm gonna have to figure out i'm not really sure how i'm gonna be able to merge four of them so i think let's see here not here okay so i'm gonna need let's come out from here real quick so i'm gonna have to have one coming out of each one of these that oh yeah and then we can put a t intersection here put a rounded one here and then here let's see okay this one is also that then we need another t where these two come together okay yes and then we can put a t into here oops like that and then another 90 degree wait that's hard to see like that check it out so now the fuel is getting pumped out of here into the generators and then comes out and goes down into or this could be the cooling that gets exchanged and whatnot i like it i think it's pretty cool and then off he over here um right here when you come in there's gonna be like a few consoles or something you know that you um control all of these things here and now to the the decoration for these here so let's see what kind of looks like a radio let's see this does kind of look has a little bit of a radiator feel doesn't it yeah I don't even need to turn them. I'm going to leave them like this. So this is, you know, in, yeah, it does look like a radiator, right? And over here is the main um, hookup. What does this look like from the outside? Ah. Like it to be. Okay, let's see if I can tip this. So it would need to be this egg. Oh, it doesn't matter, actually. Ah, well, let's just leave the lip on the bottom. Like this. Okay, I don't want to get too, too carried away with this. And then for the actual piping here, let's see. I think this one here looks the best. Um, because, you know, it's supposed to be cooling. So this could also be more radi uh, radiator functionality on this. And on the bottom in the, in the water, I'll do in a second okay and then the fuel pumps over here well they they gotta have to be a little bit more sealed um and i always like this one here very much let's see what it looks like i think this makes very nice piping i hope you guys agree yeah that looks very industrial perfect very nice Okay, let's see here. 
color wise though that's gonna be a little bit more tricky i think the metalish parts here i think they're fine the way they are but let's see if we can maybe do something to the fuel um it is prometheum so it is kind of bluish it's probably dark right actually it's pretty well i think that looks pretty nifty yeah and then these guys here we're also gonna make blue you know we got a lot of red over there so that doesn't mean that on the inside we need to have everything blue as well so this is blue and then these guys over here let's see here what does white look like Hmm, I like it. Let's go with that. It's a little bit easier on the eyes than this this dark gray right there. And then um, around it, I'm just going to build um, a roundish shape. But because this is a power um, building, right? I don't think we need to have as much glass. And also, right here on top of this, we can lay the glass. Let's see here real quick. The glass can lay to... Actually, I would kind of like to have a one higher. But then that means this is going to be a fully freestanding roof. And I don't think that's going to work out very well. Um, do I have any more trusses on me? No. Let me... Oops. Oh, hey, get back. Hey, okay, good. I got to color this fella as well. And did I get you? Okay. Uh, let me get some trusses real quick. Um, because I want to see if we can make small trussing tubes. Have any? Yes, only thirteen. So I'll make more in a second. Um, and I can bring these with me. And this guy here, possibly. I need to make more of that. Let's go ahead and queue some up. Um, that is. I think it's in. No, it's right. Here. That's decoration. So I do want to have, let's make two of these and three of these for now. That's good enough. Why is all this reddit, red wood planks? I gotta get me some wood. I'm out of wood. Okay. I'm wondering now if I, if I even need to. Ah, uh, what the heck. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I know it's gonna be there. Which one did I choose? Uh, this one. Okay. Come on. Hey, can you? Thank you. And the color was white. Do that. Good. Down here. Okay, I mean, nobody knows what's actually going on underwater, right? It's it's being exchanged somewhere down there. Um, this is the one I wanted to check here. Ah, there's only thick ones like this. Hmm. Oh, but what if I use the wall? That might work better. So right over here, if I go, if this is going to be one, two, one, two. So I'm going to need a support in the middle here. And I think then I will be fine. So if we put this, go F5. One, two, three. And then on top of this, we're going to have the the roofing and we can put another one right there just to make sure we get as much support as possible right there then maybe another one right here i think that works okay the building is all done and dressed up b2 for building two i wanted to show you this here by the way real quick um i've been naming everything by building um, if you click on auto group up there, of course it will mess everything up. But you, I, I made it by building because it, it's. I think in in a base like this with multiple buildings, it's easier. So everything in the workshop is in here, including the lights in the workshop and so on. And then of course the power station is all of this, and then the greenhouse, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. It's where we're going to continue. And then I have the stock down there, right there. Because it has two lights on it, I um, added that to that. So the oxygen generator and the water generator, they don't show up because they're not connected to the base, okay? But check it out. It kind of almost looks like a caravan, right? But I do like the look. It's very 
I, I was talking to Glitch about this. It's It reminds me a little bit about, you know, in the 70s and so on, 60s and 70s. There was a lot of people that made drawings and so on of futuristic cities. And a lot of them had rounded features. And it's kind of the same. No, not over here. This is all square. This one is roundish. And the pipes are a bluish colored because inside it's almost like a nightclub. Um, I went with this texture on the outside. I wanted something here because it was all black initially, which... I don't know, it didn't make any sense to do. I could also, real quick, use this so you guys can see the top. This is also supposed to be kind of like um, air conditioning or whatever. I got four little flares up there so you can see it at night. And yeah, so that's what it looks like from the outside. Now let's go ahead and go in the building. Bada bing. I am really, really happy how it turned out. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, we got these little repositories over here that don't have anything, I don't know. They're just decoration, right? And we got this kind of control station over here. We got the little warning sign up there. Um, and then everything is colored and I got these light panels here. Uh, they're not really... I don't know if they actually emit light. I don't think they emit light, but you can see them better at night. And that is... What is this called here? It's this right there, this texture. Yeah, and let me think here, did I, no, I didn't add anything besides lighting, I didn't know where to put the lights, because you know, all these blocks are actually taken up, so I couldn't place them anywhere, so I just placed it here, you can barely tell that they're actually not connected like this one, until you get really close, so that is what the power building looks like, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm very pleased with it, I hope you guys like it. And then I was also busy. It's actually the next day, to be honest. Um, I was very busy. I did a bunch more mining and stuff. Um, now I didn't really need anything, but it was when when I was on, it was always dark. And then I finished this building here as well, the greenhouse. Um, it's a very simple structure. Um, I got a little fancy with the top here, with those right above each one of the crop plot areas. I came up one, right? Just because I didn't want to have a flat roof, right? The roof over there is cool. It's not just flat. The roof over here is sloped over and over. And I wanted something else over here. Now, the only problem I'm starting to have here, what I don't like about this area, and maybe you guys can give me some input on it, what you think I should do, is that we don't have a color scheme. This is black with white and blue. This is black with red and a little bit of white. And then I got this white building here with kind of purple on the inside. We're going to go in now. So I'm not too happy that they're all the different color, but I like this look better. I like this actually better than I like this. So if I change anything, then I think I'm going to switch this one over to that. And I don't know, the power building, I really like the way it is. But I somehow, you know, I'd like to have a color scheme. Because, well, most of the bases you see, also the um, um, the points of interest, like the small outpost that we were at and stuff, right, um, was all a color scheme. And then here I played around with the symbols. This is the only symbol that kind of looks like something is growing. This one over here is kind of science, so with the constructors and so on. And over here, I don't have a... Well, I have the symbol above it that's like the, the biohazard symbol, if you guys can see that. Um, so I'm trying to do that as well. But anyway, let's go inside the greenhouse now. And because I want to set this up for a while now, check it out. Look how nice and bright it is. But it is not barely reflecting anywhere. A little bit here in the tile floor. But that is it. And yeah, up here is two ventilators. Um, you really only need one for the size of this building. But I wanted it to be symmetrical, so I put two. <laughs> and these right here, I um, went with the purplish... I think it's the purple color here. Um, I think I used this, right? Yes. Because when we put up the growth lights here in a second, actually, let's start with that. Let's put the growth lights up there. Um, everything here is going to turn a little bit purple, right? So I think they're, they fit perfectly. If you go with another color, it's going to be kind of distorted anyway. Even though this is the brightest building I ever made on the inside, but I, I really like it. I'm very happy about these two buildings so far. 
So please make sure to let me know if you like them as well or what you don't like about them also. I, I'd love to hear that as well. I like this. It, it gives it depth, the ceiling, the way it's made. I like that a lot. And again, a little problem with the lights, but they fit there nicely. Um, so yeah, but you guys see these are the only crop plots I have. I could not make any more because I am out of raw plastic. So first thing we're going to have to plant is corn. Um, but before we can plant, guys, um, this is a change to an Alpha 6. I think it's the only... Oh, man. Actually, these walls are a little bit too bright. Let's see here. Let's say not whole block, but let's go... Can I put the inside corners as well? Like that. Oh, I think I'm going to tone this down here real quick, guys. Let's just do this real quick. Instead of white on the inside, we're going to go with this light gray. I think that looks better. On the outside, I want to keep it white, I think. We'll see. But this takes the edge off a little bit here. And almost done. I love the the way you, you can texture and paint in this game. It's one of my favorite things. And if they one day implement that you can put stuff into the same block space, that would be even nicer, right? But its uh, I don't think it's planned. And yesterday, um, a bunch of us were talking on Discord. If We were wondering if they plan on implementing um, like it is possible in Space Engineers or Interstellar Rift that when you fly a ship that other people can walk around in the ship. Oh my god, that would be so awesome. You know, when you have a big CV and you fly around and people could walk around to different areas. I wonder if they're ever going to implement that. Um, but that would that be the most amazing change this game could have. Anyway, so we need to have set up corn. Let's check here real quick. First of all, let's add these lights. Add to the group. Greenhouse, okay. And then it's the next select and then you can just click on add to last group. And that makes sorting very easy. And you guys see... Ooh, where's this light? Uh, let's turn it to red real quick. I think, yeah, it's this outside light here, right? Yes, okay. Alright, so let's set this back to this. And actually, this is supposed to have intensity 1 and full height. And add this also to the last one. Right here. And I'm going to name this outside. You guys see in a second why. Okay, because I'd like to use... Well, first of all, sorry. Um, I was talking about the change in Alpha 6 that I didn't like. And then I got sidetracked. Is that even if you're an oxygen-rich planet now, you need to have ventilation inside of a building or your crop dies. Which doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, Because this means you cannot have any outside fields. Which I think would be really cool if we could have that. right? Um, but you cannot do that. So you just need to have... Um, lighting uh, ventilation in every one of these rooms and for that of course we're gonna need to set up some oxygen tanks and i made the small ones just so i can play around with it a little bit more so i can for example do something like that instead of just having the too tall and you definitely need to be toned um dark gray yeah i like that um so that's gonna hold three thousand oxygen and i have three more Maybe we'll go like this. Let's go with five. Okay. So that's 5,000 oxygen because, well, this is going to need oxygen in here. And check it out, by the way. I had to go with the metal door. I want to show you this real quick in case you're not familiar with it. If I go with the regular door, um, for example, the glass. Let's go with this one. That's the most used, right? And put this here. And we go and open it. There's no blue shield. That means this does not seal the oxygen, the glass one. Okay. Um, now, I guess if we're at the subject already, let's go ahead and figure out real quick if, for example, this one. Let's see if this one seals it. This one does. Okay. So I think I'll go with this one here. Um, I like that better than the, the really metal one. And what color are we going to make this? Maybe a dark green? So we know that now... No, no, no. Let's stick with the scheme. Let's go with the purple. Because the rest in here is as well purple. Okay. What do these look like in purple? 
be now I don't want to have too much all right anyway so um, so the oxygenation is kind of the thing that bugs me a little bit that you need to have that now but there's nothing we can do and I would like to set up two things here why don't we put them here on these tanks um, okay so let's put one here and one there I want to set this up so I can turn the I can turn the the growth lights off in case you know I don't need to grow any food I can turn them off and I also would like to set up oh actually sorry I totally forgot I didn't want to do that I wanted to see if we can figure out the sensor that's what I wanted to do because I have not played around with those yet and that is if somebody comes in here a motion sensor a light barrier, a trap door. Okay, so a motion sensor. Okay, so if somebody comes into here, I want the lights to turn on. We cannot put it up there. No, let's just put it here on the ground for the time being. Let's find out how this works because I have not used these before. And first, we're going to have to move, put these all into the last group. That's f no, I didn't want to have you in there. Um, remove group. Add to group. Ungrouped. We're not done with you yet. Uh, I wanted to put these here. Add to group. Greenhouse. And this one. Okay. Because now I can put the motion sensor. I guess I can put that already because well, motion is motion. And then we can also put the lever. There we go. Okay. So motion sensor. Um, and I'm going to call this motion sensor lights. I don't know if there's something we need to do. And that's configuration. Oh, wow. That scared me. That was the thunder. Okay. So front. What does front mean? Above it, maybe? Side one plus. Okay. So we can see this. Oh man, that's kind of hard to tell where that actually goes. Well, let's just go with, I don't know, let's go with 13, 13, 13, and then we kind of figure out. Whoa, did you guys just see how far that went on the outside? They go straight all the way over to the building. So how do you know which one is side one and so on? Hmm, why don't we do this here? Let's go down to one on each one of them. So now it's just that cube, okay? And now let's go up with side one. So that one extends back this way. Okay, so let's see here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that side needs to be nine. We have it at eight. Nine. Okay. Interactive setup. Oh, wow. That is cool. Four. Six. What? Eight. Ah, control. Okay. So control. Uh, so, okay. I didn't read that. Enlarge is control plus numpad. And shift is control alt plus numpad. Okay, so let's go control and four. So that extended it this way. Okay. So control four and four. So I want to come into here. Oh my god, that is awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. And control six, I think, is the other direction. So control eight is this way. Yes. So we want to come to there. Okay, and then probably control two is this way. Let's see. Yes, that is amazing. I mean, of course, if somebody's out there flying, then the lights will come on here, but so be it. And otherwise, I think we got it. That That is all we need. And the front, of course, we can bring down. But that is something that I don't see on here. So how do I stop this? Escape. Escape. Okay. So let's bring the front down to one. 
Okay, so it's just one high. I guess if somebody flies up one, I don't want the light. So let's go to three. So it does go to the ceiling height. That's fine. So very cool. So that works. And now we go into signal logic, I think. Click on this and then we give this a name. So we name this greenhouse. Actually, let's not go with that. Let's go building three lights. It's shorter. Okay. And now we can come to these lights here and we can actually say lights follow. So you can say toggle on off. Oh, we just want follow. So if the motion sensor is tricked, right? It's 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 gonna turn them on. And when that when the motion sensor turns off, it should turn it off. Okay, so we gotta just have to do each one of these here real quick. It doesn't take too long. Even though it turns off now, I wonder. Because I'm standing still, maybe? So if I move. Hello? <laughs> Uh, walk in okay so it's on now let's stand still for a second ah, they seem to stay on okay so that's cool and then this one over here which we're gonna turn purple so people are probably I don't want to put a sign but they're gonna be able to tell hey this is for the greenhouse lights the, the growth light, sorry. Um, I'm going to name this one, whoops, uh, lever growth lights. Okay. And now we go on signal logic and we call this building three growth lights. All right. And then we'll go here and set each one of these up as well to the same same way i'm really happy that they implemented this signal logic and i am thrilled right now to see that they have this interactive setup that is just sweet that is super nice okay so now it's all it's off because it's set to follow and when i turn it on they all came on turn it off off right all eight of them are off perfect i love it that is so cool okay so now let's just check here real quick if under um, that is in the workshop under uh, cargo plants right there. Earthing corn. Okay, so I definitely want corn. And then I'm not going to worry about anything else right now. So corn. But before I plant it, so I don't mess this up, we need to come in here and their main. And we need to turn on. Uh, well, actually, I need to fill it first. Sorry. So under main, I'm going to say fill all. I do have a bunch of oxygen on me and now I can check it out. They're not spinning, right? These ventilators. But if you now click on oxygen, now they're all spinning. And you guys are going to see it used some of the oxygen to pressurize and fill this room. So I'm going to and I don't know. There is no time on here or anything, so I don't know how long it lasts, but forever, a really long time. Now, every player that goes in here as well uses oxygen. Okay, because this is a sealed room now. So you do slowly use oxygen, but it's a very, very slow rate. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and plant all this corn. So until next episode, I can get the rest of the growth plots made, um, which um, you guys saw I already had the food processor. We're going to put right here. Okay, I am not going to put any refrigerators yet. I might put in one or two guys. But the food processor keeps everything fresh, right? There is no spoil time in it. Ooh, that's very all gray. Not a fan of that. I think we can go with that one purple here. I think that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so everything in here also stays fresh, and it has a lot of rows, right? And usually, you're supposed to harvest everything you make, right? So we're going to have a tomato field, a pumpkin field, a durian field. Um... Probably two of each. So two pumpkins, two tomatoes, and two durians. Because we're going to make mostly the canned vegetables right here. These are really good. They need tomatoes, pumpkins, and durians, some purified water, and steel blade. 
the purified water you get from this and i'm gonna put the rest in here as well and um to make growth blocks right there oh we can actually make one let's do that okay and now we're out of um plastic completely so the plastic is now empty um and i just need to wait for corn because in here you can make raw plastic material out of four corn and some rock dust and then the only thing i need to bring over here as well is steel plates and you know what i learned this yesterday uh on a different server we also play on and i wanted to show you that because i almost killed all our crop over there so when you break a block and you place a new crop plot you guys are gonna see our oxygen went down again because you break in the block completely depressurizes the room and then it needs to fill it again but once you're out of oxygen the oxygen turns off and the ventilators are off right and i did not know that and i'm like why does it tell me it's depressurizing right um until i figured out oh okay here, here was my thought right i break one i place it i break another one place it that's the wrong way to do break them all place them all because then you only need to pressurize one more time right so that's it um um also once the food is processed i'm gonna put it over into the let's put the food processor in this group as well greenhouse i'm gonna put it into our fridge right here that is in the workshop where i already have a bunch of food right that's over there because well I live alone for now at least um so i just kind of process it over here and then put it over there for consumption but that is it um i actually thought this was going to be a shorter but there was a lot of talking and explaining about this and um so on so we're not getting to the hv but you guys see let me just show you that real quick i have a ton of ah hate that <laughs> the chat pack sometimes gets on my nerves but i'm glad we have it or maybe i just suck at flying um, here we go. I got all this stuff ready for next episode and we're gonna build a mining HV with it I even have a, a minigun turret ready for it and so on. I don't think I can make the Mining turret for it. Can I? That's a drill turret. Yes, I can That is the drill turret for the HV uh, Let me just make sure I have not made one yet. No. All right We're also gonna make one of these and bring it with us because I want to play around with that as well I have made a couple of HVs with the drill modules, but not used the drill turret yet. So, and that needed uh, a power coil right here, you guys see. And you can only make that when you have a restroom in Suscosium. But anyway, guys, um, until next episode, I'm going to keep mining and then hopefully have all the crop planted and so on. And then we finally start building our first vehicle. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Please let me know about the color design if you guys have any, any ideas of what I should go with. And, well, I can't wait to read it. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.